Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you a low profile vise that I've decided on and I picked up. And I've looked at the different vices that you can get online and uh, I chose this one uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, first off, this is Leading Edge Industrial. And these guys here are in Indiana. So I got the uh, the vice and the soft jaws. The vice was $99. And I think the soft jaws were like 20 something dollars. I got everything delivered to my door for less than 150 bucks. And that's really nice. Um, three and a half inch on the open jaw here. The total width four and a half, and what's unique about it, it has the same layout like the regular low profile vices that you get. But you have this other section here that uh, has like a built-in parallel. So the parallel cut is across here and here, as well as all the way down this rail. So you can support your part in three places. And that's pretty cool. Um, you may limit being able to come across here with a bit and I think they even say in the ad that you know this is like sacrificial it's replaceable so if you had to you could cut into it um, if it's a standard 2x2 two two layout grid and that's what I have on this table so basically I can take some my my table is M6 by 1 thread so I can take some flange bolts and bolt this onto the table and it gives you a little bit of they're slotted so that gives you a little bit of room to tram in your your part and then the soft jaws are replaceable so what i did is i modeled the soft jaws up so i can actually make some extra soft jaws make them out of plastic delrin uh, make some aluminum ones so that basically i'll just make them here so if I have a unique part to cut, I can just cut into the soft jaws and uh, be done. Comes with the bolt pack, the bolts actually uh, for the soft jaws. And then these others, look like they're probably M8 or M10s that bolt this down to the table. But uh, for what I do, for the rigidity of a 6040 machine, these two M6 bolts will be plenty strong enough. I can't load this spindle down enough to need that size bolt. So, the one thing I like about this is the overall height here is about an inch and an eighth. The spindle on this machine, since I got the 2.2 or the 2200 watt spindle, you lose a little bit when you go to the, the 2.2 kW spindle because you get an ER20 collet from an ER11. So you probably lose about three quarters of an inch of travel here. So we are at seven and a quarter to the face. So you figure once you have a bit in there, you're going to be cutting with six and a half to the table. Now my table is an inch shorter because of the surface plate. So six and a half, and then you figure this inch and an eighth. So I've probably got a good five inches, five and a quarter inches. Yeah, five and a quarter, five and a half inches that I work room that I can work with this vise. And I'm okay with that. I don't put big parts in here anyway. I had tried the cheap eBay low profile. I mean, this is junk. Just don't even worry about buying this. It's, got, it's so sloppy and it just belongs in the garbage. That, that's all. I, I saved it just for this video just so you could see how crappy it is. This is a very, very well built piece. I think it's for the machines that they make, but on a 6040 it will work just fine. So I had not put it to the test yet, but I'm pretty excited about this and I um, can't wait to put some parts on there and show you guys you know, how it performs, but I've always needed a way to grab parts without just double sticking tape onto the surface every time. So anyway, I'll uh, leave links in the description to the vise and the soft jaws 
and I hope you guys can pick you one up and put it to good use. Uh, it looks like it's a very well built piece. So, uh, can't wait to put it to use. Anyhow, if you find this video useful, share it with other people, uh, the DIY community that have little small mini machines like this, 6040 machines, even the, you know, Chefocos and the X cars, any of those machines would benefit from this little device here. So anyhow, um, hit the little subscribe button and the bell for notifications when I upload more video and, uh, leave a comment below and, uh, We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.